got our tree mounted and uh, let's just see if we can uh, add a little texture to it. These trees are pretty much cards. Uh, I could even get Michelle to finish these things for me nowadays. So uh, there ain't much to them. Uh, get the plug off and uh, a lot of people just uh, sand them out and burn them right here and finish them. But, you know, if you want to add a little more texture, we're going to you know, do it like this right here. I just go around and uh, take each, uh, I guess you call it the foliage here, and uh, give it a little texture. So you just kind of like doing fur. Carve your texture running, you know, kind of add a little bit of an angle that way and then come back the other direction that way, you know. And, uh, I usually go for like a leaf from the center out. They ain't straight down, but they kind of start in the center of the, the leaf and kind of work their way out. Is the way I kind of do it. I guess there ain't no particular right way, but uh, you can see I'm just kind of, I don't like perfectly straight line. They kind of got a, a slight curve to them, I guess. They pretty straight, but with a slight curve. And then we just go around and bark the tree out. And like I say, you can do these with uh, by doing it just like this. Or you can cut the plug off and give it a quick burn and paint job and it's good to go. So they work both ways. I'm slap it out a little bit. And we'll start out with that dial line brush because it, it removes the fuzz a little bit better than that sand deflect. See how slick it gets. It's, you know, that brush does a real good job at getting all that fuzz out of there. You see it flying off of there, finishes it up, and you say we'll put fire to it to get anything off that we we don't get with a brush. Probably had more time in the brushing on this one than we did the carving. We're gonna burn it pretty hard, but I think we might paint this one so we'll we get after the fuzz. Now, if I was trying to just burn it for color and wasn't going to paint it, I would burn it hard up underneath all the recesses and stuff and then flap it back out so it come back highlight real good. But, uh, you see it kind of burn up in them pockets. That way when you sand it, it still be a little darker in them holes and make everything stand out a little bit. Then we'll paint the tree and then it's gonna come out. But if I was gonna leave it burnt, I would burn the tree hard and leave the bark lightly burnt. And you see, we're running back over it, knocking off some of that smut and stuff and highlighting the, the high areas. say we're going to paint this one, but if I was going to leave it burnt, I would have burned it a little bit harder. And, uh, so it wouldn't have flapped out quite as much. There you go.
I thought we'd kind of go over the stuff that we use basically on coloring our carvings here. Our main things, I got some dyes here that I made by mix all that you can mix with just about anything. I use basically water for the 90% of it, mix you know the dye with water. It's real easy to keep clean in my airbrush. But what I probably use even more than the colors is men wax stain. I like golden oak, it's probably my favorite light color. And then I use ventional and black walnut for my dark colors. Men wax make hundreds of different colors. I basically use two, 90% of what I do. And as far as airbrush system, I got cheap Harbor Freight airbrush, or you can get them on eBay. That's about what we use for coloring our carvings. Hope this helps. Okay, we're gonna do a little airbrush on the trees. Typically, I don't do the airbrush on the tree. Typically, I use black spray paint for what uh, I'm doing with the airbrush now with the dark, dark colors shooting up underneath uh, leaves to just make a little shadow. Load from the high, but normally I turn it upside down with black can of spray paint spray in them. And, uh, but today we're using the dark wall up with the airbrush, just darkening everything up, all the crevices up in the low spots. When we get that laid down, we uh, get our green dye out and spray back over it. And, uh, but like I say, typically we use rattle can paint where I'm using the green dye, we just spray green paint. And where we were using the dark stain, I use uh, rattle can black, so. You know, pretty simple on the tree. Have a little fun with it. We'll catch you on the next one. Till next time, Timber.